It's a simple apple. It's unassuming. But it's nutritious. It's healthy. But there's something you didn't know about it. You can also turn it into this. Pure plastic for any industrial purpose. Sounds impossible? Well, it's not. It's the wave of the future. And here is how it's done. This lab knows garbage. You came in the best day to the lab where it's really smelly today, right? So <laughs> you can appreciate, uh, you know, the type of material, the type of feedstock that we use in the process. Tal Shapira is the co-founder of Triple W, a company that takes the phrase trash to treasure incredibly literally. So you take food waste and you really deconstruct it and use all its ingredients in the best way to, to produce new materials uh, that for products that we use in everyday life. For example, for the production of bioplastics for food and beverage packaging. The material in question is a plastic known as PLA, biodegradable and made from foodstuffs, but until now, expensive to produce. Because bioplastics are being produced from sugarcane and corn, which are food crops, and they cost a lot. And we can uh, eliminate this cost by using food waste, which is, uh, it's not even a cost because you're getting paid for treating the food waste. What this company has done is develop a way to compost biological material, in this case, food waste, extract the biological compounds known as lactic acid using bacteria, and then purify that into usable plastic. This is basically garbage soup. <laughs> yes, it is a garbage soup. Yes, in indeed, indeed, yes. Um, it's a variable, heterogeneous garbage soup that, that we know how to control, and we have, you know, billions of employees that are tiny and working inside of it to deconstruct it and make, you know, new materials that are useful. It's a revolutionary idea that makes recycling more viable. Traditional recycling needs to separate and then process raw materials for reuse, making it far more expensive than just dumping it somewhere. But in this biological process, it's all done by the bacteria. So it, it is blended into a slurry, much like the conventional chemical process, but the microorganisms are the ones who are targeting the specific, the specific uh, fraction of carbohydrates in the, in the waste, fermenting those carbohydrates into the product, and then we separate the product from the rest. And not just an economic solution, the waste from this process is yet another valuable product. And the rest goes for energy production. So a lot of the oils and lipids that you would find in our foods would go for production of biogas, which is then burned in a generator to produce renewable electricity. Which means that this sort of waste management could soon fill a very significant market need. The growth uh, in bioplastic coming from two directions. One is from governments, which uh, implement policies that encourage the, the production of bioplastics into the market, and also from, from the big chemicals companies, which understand that there's only one direction for, for, for plastic, and this is bioplastic. In Europe, Triple W isn't operating out of a lab, but on an industrial scale. This Belgium facility processing countless tons of garbage and turning out this, purified plastic, which can be used for this any sort of product the market demands.